Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a brand new Dokkan Metal News video. I know I haven't said that in a long time, I'm so sorry I've been slacking a little bit with the news videos. It just hasn't been my thing lately, but I always like to cover V jump scans and they're always just, I don't know, a lot of fun, at least in my opinion. So today we are going to cover the latest V jump scan. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit goofy or a little bit, I guess, deeper <laughs> than usual. I just woke up. So here we go. We have a very interesting V jump scan today, actually. Um, this was something that I kind of didn't expect. So um, we were maybe anticipating the golden week units in this V jump scan because in years past, sometimes we've gotten them and sometimes we haven't gotten them from V jump scans. So it was kind of a hit or miss this time. But we did get a, a very interesting piece of information, which if you can see the B pen is the main featured character here. Uh, B pen is actually getting an easy A, which is absolutely insane. I cannot believe that because she's already like the best support unit in the game and frankly <laughs> disgusting really really good in terms of a support unit and now she's gonna be even better so i cannot wait to see what they end up doing with her kit i'm gonna be curious if they tend to focus more on boosting her support or if they focus boosting her a little bit more to like boost her damage and stuff like that it'll be very interesting to see what they end up doing i would assume that considering she is mostly based around the whole support thing it would probably be that but i don't know bro I, she's already like i said busted for support so it'll be interesting to see what actually becomes of that um as for the bottom sections here before we get to um this this is what immediately caught my eye i don't know if uh it caught yours but as you can see these are brand new patan battle cards and you know your boy loves patan battle <laughs> so with these new patan battle cards um this obviously confirms that we are moving on from the namek saga on to the android saga which is awesome Obviously, we weren't too sure if we we're going to move on to the next saga because in the news, Full Power Frieza was the little chibi unit that was repping the Patan Battle, like, um, I guess just news card, right? That said that we are getting a new round of it. But this confirms that we are getting a brand new Patan Battle cards. As you can see here, we have the SR um, Trunks and the SR 17, as well as the free to play Yardrak Goku. Awesome stuff. I cannot wait to see this. Obviously, this is already covering everything from when King Cold and Mecha Frieza initially land on Earth, all the way to fighting the androids and Trunks obviously coming from the future. So it'll be awesome to see what this goes up until. I assume this is just going to cover the whole android saga and then the Cell saga will be next, which would make sense considering the fact that that is how Dokkan um, kind of does it. Um, um, obviously, they combine some of the sagas, but I think that there's enough characters where they can separate the Android and Cell Saga, because obviously there's so many various characters and various outfits and stuff like that um, from those different sagas that there's well enough to make a full Patan Battle set. So definitely look forward to that. Of course, as soon as that data download drops, I will be posting the assets for that, because every time we get Patan Battle stuff, I'm like, I'm, bro, I'm smashing my keyboard trying to get into those files, bro. So that's very exciting <laughs> as well. This is the final big piece of in, uh, info from VJump that we had here. By the way, thank you to Goresh for the translations for this, as you can see. Um, this was the big thing that was um, announced with this, as you can see here. This is telling us that the brand new LGE, that's right, the legendary Goku event that we have been screaming for a new one for a fat minute now, is finally getting an update and it is getting a GT version of itself, which is very, very interesting. Now, I understand why they're doing this. I know a lot of people kind of wanted like a like a Vegeta version of this or like a Frieza version of this, even like a Boo version of this, even though we kind of have a Boo one in Dragon Ball history. But 
with this, right, this kind of makes sense because the LGE that we currently have is like Goku's canonical forms, right? All the way up from, you know, Super Saiyan 3 to then the God forms, right? An Ultra Instinct. So this would make sense because obviously um, this is GT, right? We'll have to see if they do end up doing Super Saiyan 1 through 3 again. But obviously in GT, Goku turns into a kid once again, right? And so we have base form from that. We have Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3. Then obviously we have Super Saiyan 4. Technically, if you want to count Gogeta in there. But it technically doesn't count because Vegeta would have been at the end of the LG fight. Or Gogeta, whatever. Um, so... You know, we have all those forms to go through um, for Dragon Ball GT. So that is well enough for an LGE stage, if you ask me. Oh, and full power Super Saiyan 4. I actually forgot about that one. So, yeah, all of those would be perfect for a upcoming LGE stage. And I am excited, regardless, to get some kind of new content um, like LGE. Not only does it just mean more missions, it just means, you know, more places to try out units. So that is very, very cool. And as well... Um, this one, I guess I can't say is completely confirmed, but I believe that last night we were hearing um, a little bit of rumors. We can scroll back through Guresh's page um, that the Golden Week celebration is going to be GT themed, um, which is kind of funny that um, what do you call it? Yeah that um okay yeah so basically not like super confirmation but basically it's sort of just people were speculating i believe because of this um that the golden week celebration is going to be gt themed so this does kind of lead me to believe that that will be the case obviously Paton battle it makes sense that they're just going to keep going by saga not like you know <laughs> skip what we're doing right now and then go back to it later to do some gt stuff but with b pen and the lge event being gt themed um i would definitely not be surprised if golden week is gt themed but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below for sure I'm going to be curious to see if it is GT themed, what they end up doing. If they end up doing like a Super Saiyan 4 Goku and a baby, that would be pretty cool. Um, you know, if they end up doing another Omega, which I mean, even though I kind of don't want because I would like them to do some other like GT characters for a Dokkan Fest. Um, it would also wouldn't mind because, you know, we do need another Omega Shinron. And I mean, there are a lot of other GT villains that they could still do as well. It's just kind of hard to think what they'll do for heroes because I assume the only like GT heroes that would do really well in terms of sales would be Super Saiyan 4 characters, you know. So I don't know, but... Let me know your thoughts and speculation in the comment section below. Of course, let me know your thoughts and speculation as well on everything that we covered in this actual V-Jump scan today. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.